Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gurgut. Today we're making fried chicken thighs. And it's very simple, but it's probably for me one of my top favorite ways of eating chicken. Because you can either eat it with like rice or you can put it in a sandwich. It's just the perfect way to prepare chicken thighs. Then what you do with it is up to you. But before we have a look at the ingredients, please do me a favor. If you're not subscribing to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. But now let's have a look at the ingredients. So obviously we have our chicken thighs. Just go through them with your fingers, making sure there's no hard cartilage left. I've already done that, so these are ready to go. We have some spring onions. The chives are just for decoration, so they're not really an ingredient. We have some black pepper, a bit of brown sugar. We have fish sauce, oyster sauce, rice wine, and oh, this was an oyster sauce, this was soya, and oyster sauce. So oyster sauce, fish sauce, soya, and rice wine. We also have a bit of ginger and a bit of garlic. So let's start with prepping kind of the, the vegetables, the ginger, the garlic, and the spring onions. And then we'll mix the marinade, and then we'll marinate. But let's start with that first. So we'll start with our spring onions. Just slice it up like this. And I only want the green part of it. And put this in a bowl. For both the ginger and garlic, we're just going to grate them. Let's see, a good tablespoon of ginger. You can mix it in with the spring onions. And our four garlics as well. That's our garlic. Now we'll just clean up here a bit, and then we're ready to marinate. That might not be the most beautiful dish, but I prefer to marinate in these kind of plastic dishes. Put your spring onions, your garlic, and your ginger in. About two good spoons of the rice wine. Two spoons of soy sauce. One spoon of fish sauce. and four spoons of oyster sauce. This is a magic combination. Number four. And I would say two teaspoons of brown sugar and quite a bit of black pepper. It's always difficult to say how much that is, but I would say it's a good teaspoon. Now we we'll mix all this. Wonderful smell. Fresh ginger, garlic. And our marinade is ready. It's time for our chicken. And now we just make sure that they're coated, that the marinade is everywhere. Best thing is just get in there with your hands. And now we're going to marinate it. Hmm. Now we're going to marinate this in the fridge for about half an hour. And then we'll cook it or fry it. So I'll see you at the stove in about half an hour. We've got our pan ready, medium high, just with some oil. And like with everything with skin, we go skin first. And it already gives off a fantastic fragrance. And we're frying it on medium high because we don't want to burn the skin. Turn it. Now you can't hear this, but if you go over it like this, you can tell that it's really nice and crisp. And it feels ready. 
So we'll take this now and move back to the board. Just put it on some kitchen paper. Just make sure that we pat it off. I will place it upside down and we'll cut it. Get our plate. And this in a sandwich or on top of some nice rice. It's fantastic. But we're just going to eat it plain like this. Because that's quicker. So let's dig in. Now this has a lot of flavor, but you could use kind of a dipping sauce, maybe a soy mixed with rice um, uh, vinegar. Mm. So nice and moist. Still with a nice crispy skin. Really, if you're just looking for a simple way of enjoying chicken, I think this is the most simple way. Fantastic. And so moist. Imagine that in a sandwich. It's going to blow your mind. Some cupy mayonnaise. Mm. So nice. I got so excited by myself when I said cupy mayonnaise, so we're going to do one with a bit of cupy on it. A match made in heaven. Now, good food doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. Chicken is a really, especially the thigh, is quite a cheap cut. It's simple ingredients, but it's so good. Now, give this a try. Let me know what you think if you're a chicken fan. Even if not, this might convert you to becoming a chicken fan because it's so nice and moist. It has a nice, crunchy skin. Overall, really simple, really good dish. I hope you enjoyed it. This is it for today. But before you go, please do me the favor. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Leave a comment below. Or if you have any questions to what I just did, also leave a comment below. I always answer relatively fast. And if you're not subscribing yet, please do so. Hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get a notification. That's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.